I'm James Vallis, developing now WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange, who has been holed up in the Ecuadorian embassy in London for nearly four years to avoid extradition to Sweden, says he is prepared to surrender to police on Friday if the United Nations rules against him. Assange said in a statement issued on early Thursday morning, quote, Should the UN announce tomorrow that I have lost my case against the United Kingdom and Sweden, I shall exit the embassy at noon on Friday to accept arrest by British police, as there is no meaningful prospect of further appeal, unquote. Assange has been holed up inside the embassy since the summer of 2012 to escape extradition to Sweden, where he is wanted for allegations of sexual assault. The accusations are unrelated to Assange's work for the whistleblowing case website WikiLeaks, which brought diplomatic earthquakes to the United States when it began releasing classified documents it had obtained. Assange has claimed the cases have been politically linked, arguing that the sexual encounters with the two women in Sweden were consensual. The WikiLeaks founder filed a complaint against Sweden and Britain in September of 2014, alleging that he is being unlawfully detained. The UN's working group of arbitrary detention is considering his complaint and is expected to issue its report on Friday morning. WikiLeaks' first big scoop was on April 5th of 2010 when it released a classified video which showed a 2007 U.S. helicopter attack in Iraq which left several unarmed civilians killed, including two Reuters journalists. Assange previously said he has been told to expect dirty tricks from the Pentagon, including sex traps, to ruin his reputation. For the very latest on this story, visit bnonews.com.